Hello. Uh, welcome. This is a short actual play of the quick A Nordic Noir Ghost Story RPG. Uh, I will be your game master, Petri, and you can find me on Instagram as gogame.eu. Is that go? Yeah. Damn it. Oh well, you can you can find me somewhere. I'll I'll paste the text somewhere here. Um I should have checked my socials. Uh this is off to a great start. Um joining me today uh is Anina. Hi. I'm Anina Kaski. I'm a actor and writer and a TTRPG player, also a a regular cast member and producer on Bardic Quest, a D&D 5e show that you can find on YouTube. So go check that out. You can find it on YouTube and any podcast platform. And I also have my own YouTube channel for sketches, short films, that kind of thing called The Awkward Actress. Yeah, links will be somewhere in the description below. Where? Yeah. And Chris. Hi, my name's Christopher Strand Smith. Um, I'm a game enthusiast, like all these fine fe- people here as well. Uh, I write RPG material for uh, Iron Spine Press, um, do all kinds of game mechanic stuff and story stuff as well, a bit of narrative design as well there. Um, you can find me on socials. Um, both in English and in Finnish. I do have a, a Finnish presence as well under Rope Satama. I do a bit of sort of role-playing midi- media, um, uh, so to say. And then under Kazmi87 on Threads, um, C-A-S-S-M-I-8-7. And Threads is the best place to find me because that's I'm, I'm hanging around there. And you can probably contact me if you have anything you want to ask or comment on. Yeah. And then there's Jamie. Hey, I'm Jamie McDonald. Uh, I'm a stand-up comedian and games enthusiast based in Helsinki. Um, although my role-playing is mostly from bar and less tabletop, so this will be fun and interesting. Uh, I, you can find me on Instagram and threads and Twitter. I mean, as much as you can find anything there that isn't total crap these days. <laughs> uh, at... Uh, Happening Fish. That's my handle pretty much everywhere. Uh, I also have a podcast with fellow Finnish stand up Tommy Wallamius called Queer and Dumb, where he's the one who asks dumb questions of me, and I do my best to educate. <laughs> and when else? I'm working on a couple of solo shows that will be up in the fall, and you can catch me uh, on Instagram. You find out where I'd, where I'm going to be playing. Wonderful. So, uh, we are playing The Quick. And what The Quick are is that they are the counterbalance to the dead. They are people who investigate hauntings and close up what they call echoes. Disturbances caused by tragedy, great emotion, and usually violence. We start on a very bendy forest road. Uh, We see Sabrina uh, are you driving or is this a cab? This is a cab um, yeah. to see. I'm guessing she's been summoned by Inka, uh, her client. Yes, you have been summoned by Inka. Uh, from what you understood in her tone when she called you, this will not be a pleasant meeting she mm-hmm. you you sort of picked up that she might be terminating your contract oh no 
So you are slightly um, feeling feeling the pressure mm-hmm. as you dr- are are driven on this road uh, somewhere near Birrat. Um, it is evening, uh, autumn evening, so there is this beautiful reds and yellows both on the sky above you and the forest around you. Uh, this is forestry country, so it's mostly uh, like pine and and th- that sort of a useful sellable tree. But there's occasional birches and, and other beautifully colored colored trees here and there. Um, the cab driver is an older man, uh, probably done this for ages. Uh, you've actually uh, been riding with him a couple of times. There's not mm-hmm. that many 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 cabbies here and it's better just to call the one you know rather than go through all the hassle mm-hmm. uh, now people are just trying to scam you with with taxis uh, the road takes a right turn and time stops the taxi stops uh, the man stops in the middle of sentence he, he's like looking very stupidly at you in the rear view mirror but time has stopped uh, in front of you in the headlights you see a man dressed in dark suit and wearing what appears to be a wolf's head uh, as a hat. Blood streams down his face and he looks at you directly. You have stumbled upon an echo in the middle of Mm -hmm. nowhere. He he's staring at you, and, okay. and you know that at this moment it's unlikely that time will just kickstart suddenly. So you can you can do what you want. Mm-hmm. Right now, what from does <laughs> yeah, what, what, what does Sabrina look like? So, <laughs> yeah, just 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 randomly saw a man come just, in in wolf's yeah. blood. But what does she look like? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so Sabrina's she's young, so she's twenty four, because I think uh, she has been working from quite a young age. This is a uh, the only job she's known. She's got long dyed black hair, and she's. She's dressing the part, so she's wearing like crystal necklaces. She's got a lot of rings on. Um, wearing sort of bohemian long drapey things. Um, she's got a piercing here. Um, uh, yeah, that's what she looks like. So yeah, it's very much dressing the way. You would expect a medium to dress. The man is maybe in his fifties. Um, hard to pick out actual facial details because of all of the blood. Mm-hmm. Uh, he looks shocked. You can move. You can do what I you... I can move. Okay. Yeah. You... From past experience, is talking enough sometimes? Or does it... Is it... 
Uh, so in, would in I know case, if I can yeah. talk enough? Uh, um, in the case of the very weakest echoes, uh, it's enough to just look, okay. just ex experience uh, mm -hmm. from like the next step up from that, it's talking and trying to figure out what's going on. And okay. if it is beyond that, then it requires actually understanding and, and solving what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, since the time since time has stopped and and nothing is happening, uh, you would say that this this is something that requires interaction, not okay. uh, just watching. Yeah, she would make eye contact with the with the echo. Make sure it noticed that he was being perceived. Yes. Um, and then say, it's okay. Um, the man howls, like turns his head upwards mm -hmm. and howls. And you have this feeling of the howl somehow shattering things around you, like mm -hmm. the glass around you breaks. Uh, the cab itself sort of feels like it's crushing into a small... Like, like it, there's pressure coming from outside. Mm -hmm. And you hear others responding to that call uh, at least four other howls coming from somewhere beyond this world okay time slips back uh, you've been in motion so you sort of just slid past the echo uh, you make a mental note of where that particular bend in the road is, mm -hmm. and the cab continues towards uh, a Karpala house. Inga is there to welcome you. She's a bit older than you, maybe 10 years. Sweet. And she, well, it is clear that she feels that your services are no longer required. <laughs> like, there's the pleasantries. You're invited mm -hmm. in, you're, you're given coffee, and then yep. she starts with the spiel that's going to end with, unfortunately. Yeah. Do you interrupt her? Do you want to force your hand? Mm -hmm. I think I would start shuffling a tarot deck. Yep. That's that's what she's she's listening, but she's shuffling one. Yeah, it's... that's that's how she's trying to force her hand, basically. Okay, uh, give me a roll, just one. A try, <laughs> try, try roll, and I think you at least your your like concept comes to play. So uh, <laughs> channel. Because that's that's what you do. Uh, medium, I, I would say as well. Uh, you want an occultist? <laughs> How many do I roll? Just let me know. Yes, yeah, I could, uh, could yeah. count as occultist as well. Yeah. Uh, do you want to pull on the fact that you just saw an echo? If you do, that's, yes. Uh, yes. that's the yes. Nexus, Nexus die coming to play. 
So three normal die and then one from the flaw. Okay. Roll the three first and then... Okay. then. Ooh, a five and a six. And I'm going to re-roll okay. the other normal one. Yep. That's a four. That's three successes. Yeah, no, yeah. Ro- and roll now, the, Nexus. Yeah, ro- roll the, yeah, roll. The that's a one. So, but that's, well, that'll yeah, that, cancel one that, out. One one out of, so so you still get two successes. So yeah. the try, you, you successfully put the pressure on Inga. Mm-hmm. And I'd, I'd, I'd say that the, the fact that you just saw an echo is something mm-hmm. that comes to play here. Uh, so she she is like very she gets to the point where she is going to let you go <laughs> yeah and what do you do you're going to get out of this so that that's a success yeah what do you want to do I'm well, she'll pull three cards from her deck, yes. but they're all face down. And she'll say, I saw an echo on the road. And then she's going to go to the middle one, like she's about to flip it over. Yep. But she's waiting for a response. And you go, ah, uh, here? Yes. Two minutes away. <sighs> Body. Any particulars? What? What did it look like? A man with a wolf's head, howling. She freezes for a moment, and if you turn the card, mm-hmm. it's yeah, the I'll- moon. She looks at it and, and, well, it's, it's fortunate for you. We can't have an echo here. Um, I'll make some calls or, or do you know anyone you could ask to come here? Does she know Matt? Yeah, you you know yeah. you know Mats. Yeah, you but you does, worked with him. Does but does uh, Ika doesn't Inca. know Mats. Okay. Yeah, I can call someone, but I'd have to be employed to do that. She sighs a bit, and of course, of course, uh, we'll discuss things later. For now, you. Well, the echo needs to be dealt with, so I'm counting on you. And and she calls out to the like back of the house uh, that Mike, her husband, should call. Make make some calls of his own. Uh, we come back to the area a couple of days later. Time is rarely of the essence in these cases. The dead are dead. Uh, a bus arrives at the bus stop of of Birrat proper the town uh, closest to the Karpala estate and the Echo Uh, which one of you uh, Mats or Jack is the one who uses a bus and which one of you has a car uh, if I can interject, I, I think I kind of see Mats having a, a couple of years older hybrid that he drives. 
So, so you, you'll be coming with a car, so that would mean that the bus uh, has a jack returning to Birrat. Um, the bus trip has been quite uncomfortable. The benches are too uh, s- sort of like rigid and your back hurts from from just sitting. Where are you coming from? Where where do you normally live? Uh, I'm normally coming. I'm working in Helsinki. I'm working. Yeah. In- yeah. So you're you're coming from Helsinki. So you you've you've jumped from a, a nice proper bus to a smaller one somewhere halfway through the the trip and. Currently, you're standing, well, uh, stepping out of a bus uh, around midday uh, to a very gray uh, weather. It's not raining yet, but like you can you can feel the rain coming any moment now. Uh, the bus station is located uh, on on like the backyard of a service station. Uh, and waiting for you is a person you've you've met a couple of times. A uh, young woman, a medium hired by your family, Sabrina. Uh, what does Jack look like exiting the bus? Uh, Jack is mid forties, maybe the. Uh, 43 years old. Um, he's wearing a easy dark blazer over top of a punk band t-shirt and jeans and uh, Chelsea boots. He's got salt and pepper hair that's still a little bit thick and a little bit curly. Uh with the suggestion of this being the kind of professor who uh, maybe gets away with behaving a little younger than he actually is. Yeah, uh, Inga told you, uh, Sabrina, that um, Jack would be arriving uh, by bus today, so you you've been sent here uh, to be the welcoming committee. Uh, mm-hmm. Inga herself isn't coming. And and uh, as far as you know, Mats should be here in, in like uh, one hour or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see familiar faces, so you, kn- you know each other beforehand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> question yes. would I about Jack would I would I know if he's dealt with echoes before or just say you're a passing that's a good question uh, have, have you worked together uh, Jamie you can you can answer that together uh, yeah let's say that we've worked uh, at Maybe not super closely, but um, involved on the same mm-hmm. same project. Yeah, so ones. you know know that the other knows about ghosts and and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Did Did you see anything on the way in? Should I have? I did. What'd you see? Man with the wolf's head howling. A wolf's head? Yeah. Uh, from what you understand, Jack, uh, Sabrina has a gift or a curse, however you want to put it, that she gets drawn into these things.
Did it say anything? Did it? It held. Something held back. I was in a taxi. It was brief. But yeah. Well, on the upside, I still have my job because of it. So, yay. Uh, so is, yeah. that, is that why we're here then? I don't know about you, but she called me in to fire me, but then I saw, I saw it, so. Strangely lucky for you, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Uh, where will you go to spend the sort of an hour before, uh, Mott arrives uh, there's like this this is a small town or, or city so there's things like there's the service station bar there you, you can go get a sandwich there there's a couple of pizza places uh, the pub isn't open yet uh, and and then there's places like the library and, and whatnot where you can you can go and, and just wait where do you want to go Try going to the library. Yeah. 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 Uh, the library is this, like, it sort of sticks out like a sore thumb from the, like, the rest of the place is kind of old fashioned, uh, like this, this <laughs> almost uh, it, like quaint, quaint small town, but the, Library is this very flowing, like pink building with strange angles and and like very modern in comparison to everything else here. Uh, you go there, you get a small corner just to like spend time and and um, well, wait. Mutt, you arrive. This is... How many years has it been since you've last been here? Oh, it's got to be at least uh, two. Yeah, it's it's Ten. been two years. Uh, the place looks just like it did before. You drive past a couple of big stores like hardware store and had the general store things come back really really bad like all the memories all those clues you failed to connect just pushing pushing to the forefront um you drive your small hybrid if you've been in contact with with Sabrina about where to meet you drive to the library uh, park next to it it's it's a couple of like you can you can park there for a couple of hours then you have to move it move somewhere else but you put your car there and the library is it feels There is this emptiness about it. You spent so much time there, just like going through everything you could find about like local maps and whatnot. And and what does Mutz look like? Yeah, as uh, Mutz gets out of his his small hybrid, the, you can tell that the uh, the glove compartment is just full of. One documents papers. It's not very. It's not tidy. It's just kind of like bulging a little bit. And he uh, puts his his travel mug of coffee. It's now empty into the cup holder. Uh, gets out, and he has this kind of dark brown swept back hair that goes under the ear, kind of an Alan Wake haircut, if you will. <laughs> um, sort of a flannel shirt, windbreaker on top, 
bit of a five o'clock shadow, maybe even stubble. Uh, doesn't look too into his appearances. Yeah. You take a deep breath and enter the library and see uh, Sabrina and some older person well adult person with her and you walk to them you notice uh, Sabrina that Mots has entered the library uh, you, you've been like w- waiting here so mm-hmm. yeah. yeah just a little wave have a nod. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Jack, you don't know this person. Hi, I'm Jack. Oh. Oh, hi, Jack. Um, what's the deal here? Oh, he, he's part of the family. Oh, all right. Okay. This is, oh. this is Mats. Mm-hmm. I saw an echo. Sure about that? She gives him a look like, really? Okay, well, okay. I guess you're sure. Look who I'm talking to. (laughs) Yep. Um, as you sort of assess the situation, assess each other a bit, um, there is this um, bing, uh, sound from the library, like internal speakers, and and they are announcing that the, there is a story hour beginning, and and uh, like, please move to the hall A for yeah. for stories and and fables. To be read, and and there is this movement of people moving, moving like in in the library, and and the spell of this darkness that came with Mats is just broken a bit. Like <laughs> life, life returns. Is it like a kid's story hour? Or... Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's the vibe I got. Yeah, and, and, and there is this, this like very happy sounds of kids going on. What does Mots look like at this moment? Just kind of, as the people go past him, just kind of his eyes wander and follow them <laughs> for a minute or a second and uh, looks to the others. So don't, don't tell me you came here for the... Uh, for the fairy tales, uh... But it's called Killing Time. Yeah, but, uh, you realize there's a sandwich we b- could be having and then maybe a beer. I was actually thinking about doing some research. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's and... not in character, that's me laughing. <laughs> and and that's a perfect place for us to take a small break and continue <laughs> in a moment. Uh, see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>